Now are y'all coin smart? Cause I'm pretty penny wise. Actually, no. I don't really know how to budget, so I'm kind of always broke. Today we're gonna be creating Pennywise from the feel-good movie of the fall, It. I love this movie. I think the story is brilliant. I love all of the losers. And most importantly, I love this cake. So let's get started. So the first thing I did was bake a cake in a nine by nine inch square cake pan. And I baked a red velvet cake because blood, that's why. Now I just cut it into two equal layers with my cake leveler. And then I filled the middle in with some vanilla buttercream. This pastry bag is huge. It is so big. I just made a whole bunch of buttercream, that's why. I just spread it out with my offset spatula and then added the second layer. Now I didn't flatten the top of this out because I'm gonna be carving a 3D shape and I thought that this cake hump would probably help me with that. Now I printed out the shape of Pennywise's head, I placed it onto my cake and then I cut it out with my Ikea knife. A dollar fifty you guys, it's red and it cuts cake super well. <laughs> you guys always ask me so I thought I'd say that again. Remove the excess, revealing my beautiful Pennywise shape, and then placed it onto my cake stand. Now it's time to carve this cake. Now if you notice, I started carving right away, but in actuality, I was like holding the carving knife for like 15 minutes because I was too scared to cut into it. Now if you watch my Snorlax cake, then you know that I was nervous about that cake and I shouldn't have been. That cake was a walk in a park compared to this monster. This was really time consuming because I wanted to make sure I got all of the details right. Now the first thing I did was make sure that his forehead was gonna be higher than the rest of his face. This character, man, he's got like this huge Neanderthal slope. And then I carved away at his eyes just so that they would be a little bit more sunken in. And then I started to give him a mouth. After that, I just started to designate the area of his big old head. The whole time I was doing this, I was just thinking about how his mom gave birth to him. Oh my gosh, that was definitely a C-section. Women are so strong, you guys. I want to make sure I separate his forehead from his like luscious locks. And after that, it was all about softening up all of these features. You know, just rounding out his forehead, carving out some texture to his hair. And you can't see it because it's like a bird's eye view, but there was a picture of Pennywise on this wall. And I was just like, this the whole time just am i doing it is it right is is this okay <laughs> i wanted to make sure i was carving everything in the right place now while doing this i actually walked around the block twice i really just needed to take a break and come back to this with a fresh set of eyes i did that a lot when i was painting and i just come back and find something new to fix as you can see i cleaned up my cake board because i thought i was done and i wasn't i really wasn't <laughs> Just kept working at it until finally I was happy with my cake. And once I finished, I gave his ugly mug a crumb coat. Now every time I advertise this movie to like my friends, I always give them false information. Yeah, it's like such a good romantic comedy. It's so lighthearted. This movie just restores your faith in the world. <laughs> when they go in, they're not gonna be ready. I actually sat next to a couple who walked out. <laughs> they were so scared. Now I placed this into the fridge to chill and then I took it out and covered it with a white piece of fondant. I was actually gonna cover his face and his hair separately, but then I thought, mm, better not. I just started to feel like it would be better if the whole thing was just covered with one piece. I just tried to make sure that all of the fondant fell into all of those carved crevices I created. And then cut away the excess with my Ikea knife. A dollar fifty, y'all. <laughs> Then I said a prayer, got my phone in tools, and started to work on sculpting his face. The first I just tried to make sure that his Neanderthal brow was just on point. And then I had to kind of define his nose. So I was just pushing Fawn together to sort of give him a bridge. And then I created some nostrils. Now the hardest part about this was I only had a picture and so I was taking this 2D image, concentrating on the shadows and seeing how that shadow would actually appear as a 3D sculpted whatever this is. 
I just used a whole bunch of fonding tools to create all the different indentations, the smile lines. I really wanted to make sure I got that pointed smile right. And then I decided to give his hair some texture. So Bill Skarsgård is a guy who plays Pennywise. He's a good looking guy. But yo, that guy freaks me out. His Pennywise smile was something he learned when he was 10, and it's like so uncomfortably strange. I've never been terrified of a good looking man, but oh, this is a different story. Once I was finished with his face, I applied some copper pieces of fondant for his hair. I did this in five different segments just so I could have a little bit more control about where the fondant fell. Placed it on, just attached it with a little bit of vodka, and then cut off the excess with, you know it, my IKEA knife. It doesn't stay sharp that long, IKEA, but still, I like it, IKEA. I took some more fondant tools to create some texture in his hair. Now I'm not creating straight lines, I'm just using the picture as a reference and also my imagination to try and figure out where exactly the hair would fall, where it would sort of curl. I don't know what I'm doing, you guys. <laughs> but it's working, whatever I'm doing is working. Again, focusing on 3D, so I'm pushing down hard in some areas and then just creating some very shallow indentations in others. I wanted even more texture, so I took my X-Acto knife and I started to cut into the fondant. I'm just using all of my previous indentations to dictate where all of these slits go. I just worked my entire way around Pennywise's head. Now let's work on his face. Now I placed a little bit of dirty pink fondant? I don't know, it's inside the mouth fondant. I attached it with a little bit of vodka into the inside of his mouth and I just, I just used my knife to trim away the excess. After I just added his like juicy bottom lip, he's always like drooling. I was like sitting in the theater just holding my napkin up to the screen trying to just like wipe it away, it was gross. I added his two bunny teeth, which are cute, but also terrifying. At this point in the cake, I was like, I don't know if this is gonna work out. And then I thought like, maybe I should just like scrap it, you know, and pretend that I never even had this idea. But I already posted pictures in the community tab and on Instagram. So I was like, there's no, there's no going back. I gotta just commit. So commit I did. And I'm really glad because this looks really cool. All of the fun work was done. I've just got to focus on the paint job. And first, I'm actually gonna start with a little bit of contouring. Mix some white and some black luster dust to become this dark gray. Now with a paintbrush, I took some orange and black food coloring and just started to work on his hair. The darker colors added shadow, and then I took a little bit of yellow and white and created the opposite on the other side and gave him some highlights. And I used a little bit of copper food coloring just to blend the copper fondant into his head so it actually looked like hair follicles. At this point, my confidence was growing, you guys. I took another paintbrush and using some black food coloring, I just filled in his eyes. I'm using a Q-tip and some luster dust just to soften up the black around his eyes. He's looking good, he's looking really, really good. Now with some red food coloring, I gave some definition and color to his upper and his lower lip. And then I created his signature clown makeup. Da -da -da -da. When I finished placing on the makeup on his nose, I was like, oh my lord, this looks cool. Dude, I'm so proud of this. Now I added some more luster dust to his face because I wanted him to look a little bit more dirty. This guy's a sewer rat. Once I was happy with his makeup, I added his fondant eyes. I used yellow, orange, and black to create his pupil. It took a lot of time, but I really needed to make sure that these looked realistic. Um, you know, eyes are the windows to the soul. Uh, well, windows to the soul list in this case. And voila, our Pennywise cake is complete. I did it! I did it, you guys. Not perfect, but there's so much detail that I got right and I'm like, I'm over the moon. I'm gonna be honest, at the beginning of this process, I thought Pennywise was scary. By the end of it, I was so comfortable with his face that he wasn't scary at all to me. So I decided to make this cake a little scarier. So I took my fondant tool, stabbed out his white and yellow eyes, 
and added some blood red ones. I didn't stop there though. In the movie, Pennywise's makeup is all cracked, so I took a toothpick and just added some of those cracks to his forehead. I wanted to highlight these cracks, so I added some black luster dust. I exaggerated the black circles in his eyes because I wanted it to look like his mascara was running, you know? You know, like his girlfriend just broke up with him and he was like crying all night. You guys know what I'm talking about. And then I wanted to add blood. The blood of Georgie coming from his mouth and just dripping down his chin. I added and softened up some of the details and voila. My scarier version of Pennywise. Yeah, boy. Like I said, I love this movie. I saw it twice already. My favorite character is the guy with asthma, the one who's like taking the gazebos. I think I'm gonna be him for Halloween. It's funny because this cake is terrifying, but in my fridge, it looks like a shrunken head. Now, I was going to serve this cake at a party, but I, I just, you know, this process took a strain on me. I was imagining horrible things when I was sketching this, and then when I was baking the cakes and the icing, and then I had to fondant this, and the paint job, trying to make it as gruesome and as detailed as this terrifying creature. You know, I made him scarier because I wanted to concentrate on all of the attributes that I fear. And so now, I don't even want to serve this cake. Now, now I gotta kill this stupid clown. Kill him with fire! Kill him with fire! <sighs> Don't be scared of Pennywise, you guys. It's okay. I took care of it. <laughs> I don't hate flying it. I don't like what it says. I'm gonna put you down, good sir. Now I'm curious, have you seen it? Did you build enough courage to see it? Are you currently trying to build courage to see it? You need to go see it, you guys. It's like the feel-good romantic comedy of the fall. It's like the animated film of our generation. It's rated G for good times. General audience? I like good times better. And if you have seen it, who is your favorite character? And who is the actor you want to play the adult version of that character in the sequel? Amy Adams needs to be Bev. Now if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification button. It's somewhere on this page. You'll get updates on all the videos I create and see what I'm currently working on in the community tab. Now go see this feel good movie, alright? I love you guys. Peace!